These are very fun toys. However, parents should remember to consider age-appropriate toys in this category. It's important to consider safety equipment such as helmets, wrist guards, elbow pads, and other items to help protect their child. It is especially important when their child is using the equipment for the first time. I want to highlight that ATVs in particular can cause severe injuries in children, including burns, head injuries, fractures, mangled extremities, and even traumatic amputation. Because of the severity that we see from children riding all-terrain vehicles, the American Academy of Orthopedic Surgery has a position statement recommending no operators under the age of 12 and limited daytime use in ages 12 to 16 under the supervision of a parent or guardian. From scooters, rollerblades, bicycles, within our practice we often see children with wrist, forearm, elbow fractures. We also occasionally see patients with ankle and lower leg fractures. From all-terrain or motorized vehicles, that's when we really see the more severe life-altering injuries. Parents should consider a few things, including their child's individual skill level, age, and the use of safety equipment that I described earlier. For example, the child may be at the skill level to ride a bike on a flat surface around the neighborhood with no issues, but not be ready to race down a hill at high speeds. Children very commonly sustain abrasions, which could be cleansed with soap and water. Antibiotic ointment and a dressing or a bandage can be applied. If there is an obvious deformity of an arm or a leg, or if the child can't use the limb, then immobilize the limb with a pillow or splint and visit UF Health Shan's OrthoCare After Hours Clinic or the emergency department. We would perform an evaluation by one of our expert orthopedic surgeons.